going on guys about to check out adam Cohen. apparently he put out a video i have no idea what this is about i'm going into this blind it's called circling the toilet i'm probably going to roast it there's bound to say something stupid okay yeah hey it's me uh it is june which is men's mental health awareness month or in this country we like to call it hey man shut up go to work don't complain there's no crying and being a man it's month I didn't, I have no idea about any of those. I don't know what kind of month, week, days. I'm chilling. <laughs> this is like, I understand it. Yeah, men be going through some stuff, but I think I ain't paying attention to the whole month or weeks or days. You mean, Adam, you don't think people care about men's mental health? I don't think that us men care about men's mental health. All I know it's is we got days. a job to do and there's not time for bitching or crying. Real quick, I'm going to be touching a few different topics touching no diddy uh a few different topics mm -hmm. uh stay with me no diddy no cow home nigga. <laughs> no no mcdonald's no tom mcdonald no mises think how about that no diddy is crazy coming from him that just sounds funny as hell does man <laughs> I ain't like it. No diddy when you was hugging Tom McDonald from behind. It's also Pride Month, which is basically what? a bunch of weird half naked I, adults throwing. I would not know any of this. I swear, because I don't care. Throwing, I wouldn't know any of that. Uh, dildos at kids. Pride Month. <laughs> I'm, well, I'm, I'm no, I don't mean to laugh, but there's no kids at these. Okay, what's this? This is for educational purposes has been your favorite part this of this event so far? I loved going out there and seeing all the kids. Remember when, like, they're not coming after your kids? They're not doing it. He just said uh, his favorite part of the... I have no hate or disdain for the alphabet community at all. It's not even my beef. I don't, I don't care what you do in your own personal time, especially as a grown-ass adult. Um, leave the kids out of it. Like, we, we should be trying to teach them, like, what happened to colors? What happened to math and shit? What, what, what about science, my nigga? There's a light up something like a, a light bulb with a potato. My nigga. What, what's good with this, nigga? What, what's up with, with like some actual shit? Social studies, right, nigga? Teach them how to do taxes, nigga. Why we gotta? Why y'all injecting all this other shit? They got nothing to do. But uh, once again, whatever you do as a grown adult in your own person time, I'm not condemning you for. I have no hate and just thing for nobody, my nigga. I, I, I can't control you. You know what I mean? Parade is the kids. Just Who's taking the kids their kids to these parades? You should be... I have pride, and it's not... It's not just uh, one month. I have pride. Uh, it's it's all every day. I walk with pride as uh, being a man. Uh, I have pride in being a father and a husband. And I have pride in being an American, amongst other things. But that's, that's, a, that's an everyday thing. All right? Two out of three. No, I ain't know. Two out of three ain't bad for you. Know what I mean? <laughs> he was like, he's a father. I was like, oh, that's cool. You a husband? Oh, all right. All right. No, I'm talking about you a man. <laughs> oh, no. They're like, it should have said Tom McDonald's bitch. Okay. All right. All right. All right, Mises' husband. Okay, all right, that that fit. That fit. He said he's a man. <laughs> Paquito, Paquito. Love it. Moving on. Everyone keeps asking for my opinion Hello, for some reason. I'm just so. <laughs> Nigga, Adam the size of an Adam is crazy. <laughs> Adam's the size of an Adam. Oh, yeah, he about to be, uh, what's with it, Ant Man. <laughs> I don't know what you're going to be on Halloween, nigga. Ant Man, nigga. When you're sitting there with your little attitude and your little mood and your little house. <laughs> it's your little shirt, nigga. What are you ready? I'm, I'm, a, I'm American. And everyone keeps asking my opinion on where my stance is on Palestine and Iran. My stance is oh, fuck them. I don't yeah. care. That's not my. I'm not over there. I, I, I'm here in this country, in this country that's fucked up and going down the toilet. Stop What's bombing uh, little kids and killing kids over there. LDA, hey, what? Well, I gotta bleep this out. Crazy. Yeah, listen, this thing is nasty. 
It's a nasty man. Yes, so he got a little. Let's so this was the new term for it. He got big pussy energy. Adam Carhone has big pussy energy. He's all in his face. That, how about how about that? I stand with the United States of America until we fix everything that's wrong in this country. I don't care what's going on over there. Just stop killing that children. That shit up. actually makes me want to cry. And lastly, real quick. How do we fix this country? Okay, here we go. Um, that shit actually makes me want to cry. You virtue signaling ass bitch. As the what? Made me want to Shut the fuck up. I know that was you. I ain't even got a look. I should send your ass back to Crenshaw P with his hot ass coat hangers, bitch. Would you like that? Oh, I was just, I was trying to see if Crenshaw Pete was up there. He ain't up there. He, ain't up, he need to come and talk to Adam. No, come and talk to Adam. Bring the white coat, Adam. And lastly, real quick, Crenshaw Pete. How do we fix this country? Okay, here we go. Um, Nigga, the what? father needs to be in the house. The father needs to help raise the children. Nigga, shut up and dribble. What are you talking? Why do we need to? I don't care what Ja Rule care. <laughs> ja Rule has to say, right? I don't. Why do I care about what Ja got to say about what's going on in the world? Ja, shut up, nigga. You just about to say whatever is trending on Twitter, nigga. I don't believe you. The mother needs to be out of the workforce. Yes, I just said that. Dad goes to work. Mom stays home. Now you can argue that's very hard to do because you need two incomes to, to raise a family. Okay, if mom and dad are at work. Who's raising your kid? I'm pretty old school. I don't care if the woman works. Um, to be honest, I, I don't give a damn. If you got it like that, if I had it like that, right, and my shorty didn't want to work, that would be perfectly fine. She could just take care of the house. 100%. I'm with that. But I'm not, like, saying it's mandatory. I personally don't care. I don't, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to be honest with you. More money for the household? I don't Nigga, like, well, I don't care. As long as as a man, you ain't sitting your ass there doing nothing. Nigga, you ain't doing nothing. You ain't got a job. You ain't start a YouTube channel? Something. Nigga, something. Nigga, like, nah. No talent? All right. TikTok is some weird dude up. with makeup on is raising your kid. We must sacrifice all the bullshit in life and all the what? hardships in life and... and to keep the mom and dad in the house under one roof together, raising the children. So let's first fix the family unit. Number two, you got to spank these kids' asses. You got to, or else they're going to grow up and think. This is for educational purposes only. This is for educational purposes. Um, I think there's ways to discipline you, your child without you actually physically assaulting <laughs> I know I'm, oh, I'm joking, right? Of course, I'm just for the sake of comedy, making it, you know, a little bit bigger. Um, but I don't know. I just, I've gotten whoopings when I was young, especially me. I was a badass kid. I tell you what, it didn't make me get in less trouble. In fact, I got in more. I got in more, fam, because I knew that I could never get beat down in the streets worse than I got beat at home. So I wasn't afraid. And then you got my uncles and, and aunts telling me the opposite of my mom saying, like, like, if we hear you getting beat up outside, we going with that ass when you get home. So I was just getting ass whippings just for just all day, nigga. Win, lose, draw at home in the streets. Um, I think that people don't realize that you're just conditioning, conditioning your, your child for uh, to be able to take punishment in that way to where punishment won't seem like anything to them. Like, uh, you saying that you're disappointed in your child should hurt more than you physically spanking them with a the belt. That, and if, nigga, if that's not what's happening, then you need to reevaluate yourself. That, that means that the child doesn't respect you and you shouldn't have to whoop somebody to respect. I ain't never respect somebody that whooped my ass because they were stronger than me, buddy.
<laughs> not at all. Like, how about you take them to a martial arts gym and let them actually learn discipline, right? Especially if you don't know martial arts, right? But that's just me, right? But once again, I don't want to seem like over the top, like, oh, you should go to jail. If No, I think you should discipline your, your children. That's part of the job. But I think that there's ways to discipline your children without causing physical harm, right? But then maybe I'm just crazy, Right. I got little cousins that nigga, I walk in the room, drill sergeant, nigga, that room clean. I got a little brother. I walk in that nigga hear me at the door, nigga. He put the with a boom at sweeping up. I ain't never touched this nigga in any way with a belt, fam or nothing. It was just me having stern talkings to this motherfucker. Like, you listen, you gotta learn how to be a man, nigga. Like I say shit that makes him think, what if I'm not here, bro? Think about this. Mom ain't gonna be here forever. I'm getting old. Nigga, you got to learn how to be a man because we ain't going to be here to help you all the time. And he learned that shit. And also, he don't want to hear me fucking <laughs> roasted him. So he'll get his ass up and clean. You know what I mean? Um, but then that's a whole deeper discussion, right? And of course, I don't have a child. I'm only talking from like just taking care of my little cousins and my little brother and things of that nature. Right. So I can't understand the stress that you might have to be under. But I think there's more than just fucking one way to skin a cat. I don't think you have to actually like hit the kid. You know what I mean? These kids' asses. You got to. Or else they're going to grow up and think, think that there are to. no repercussions to their actions, like liberals. Number two, fix our youth. Think about that. Like, I grew up in a group home with a bunch of kids who all got their asses whipped, and we were in a group home. Think about that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, did it stop us from doing bad things? No. Don't grow up. Condition us to fine. do bad things. And can and can can young men stop competing in women's sports? What do we? What is that? Why is that? What oh, are we doing? Last we. Oh no. We are three. Uh, this is for educational purposes. This for. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna have to bleep out so much. This is for educational. Purposes when it comes to women's sports, y'all already know how I feel about it, right? Uh, whatever you want to do, if you want to call yourself uh, fucking the penguin from Batman, I don't give a fuck, nigga. I don't care. I'm not going to disrespect you. I'm not going to try to uh, go at you. I don't have any beef or hate for you just because I choose not to do that. You know what I mean, right? I literally called myself BX Beast Boy. A motherfucker ain't call me by my government in years. My mom don't call me my actual name. <laughs> Beast boy to everybody for years. Um, so I don't give a fuck what somebody wants to identify as. I don't want people to push their opinions on me and make me feel like I'm forced to have to, to try to conform with something that's obviously not the truth, right? Or not something I'm with, right? And that's in general for everything. But I'm not going to tell somebody they're not this and you're not that. If you ask me how many genders there are and things of that nature, I'm going to tell the truth. Right. Um, but if you ask me what I'm going to call someone who decided to make any kind of change in their life, I'm going to call them their fucking name because I don't actually care to be sitting there arguing with them about some shit that I don't care about. Nigga. The f what? It's not my fight. I don't care. Like, that's my answer to that shit. <laughs> don't give a fuck um, but also leave the kids out of it when you're a grown adult do whatever you feel 340 million fun. Americans strong and we are ran by a government that does not like us that doesn't have they, they don't care they don't give a shit about us they tax us to the to our deaths deaths while they live in big mansions and, and, and gated communities, whatever. Our country is ran by about a thousand super rich, old, saggy, balls, white dudes. Bitch, there's 340 million of us. You know how they run? You guys, they run it. Fear, what you see on the internet, what you see on the television, fear is what runs this country, keeps <laughs> all of us in check. It. So that's the third one. Fear is a part of it, for sure. For sure. I do think that a lot of people use fear for a lot of shit. hundred percent. But we don't want to get deep into my conspiracies when it comes to what the government is doing. Fix, fix our government. Well, I don't even think I can no, say that. There's 340 YouTube. million of us. We're letting them do this to us. We, the people, have the power, not a couple of old rich... You get what I'm saying?
I was trying to think of the guy from the Simpsons, the old guy, Burns. Yeah, those Burns. guys. Fuck those Just guys. Anyways. I'm glad to be back. I did a lot of music, music videos. What are you even talking about? This sounded like he was just like, let me just get a video out. <laughs> it's not just about politics, about everything I think, my life, my family, skits with my son uh, until I, my next album drops in, in a couple months. So you running from that upchurch smoke is what you're saying. So you're running from the upchurch smoke. Okay. All right. As long as we know. So I love you guys, man. As long as we know. You don't love me. Shut up. You don't love nobody but yourself. Lying ass nigga. Um, so he was just saying whatever was the hot topic and trend, right? So like he went on Twitter, looked up, hey, what can I say in this video and then promote my new music that's coming out? Nigga, shut up and dribble. Nigga, let me hear some raps. I mean, you gonna respond to, to Upchurch? Because you said that you, you was with the smoke. You was lying like you usually do. Okay. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Listen, I don't want to be too harsh. Um, when it comes to all the other stuff and his anti-alphabet shit, I don't, yo, fam. I don't think niggas need be needing to attack the alphabet that heavy, bro. Like, oh, at all. I don't think no one should be getting attacked, right, for their personal preferences. Um, and that's just me. As long as they're not trying to force you to conform, right? I personally don't give a fuck. But then again, I'm a pirate, so I believe in freedom for real. As long as you, you know, you ain't trying to stop me from praising the Lord. Right. Then I don't give a fuck what you're doing over there. That don't disturb me or my peace. You know what I mean? I mean, but that's just my personal opinion. Tell me what you think down in the comment section. Do you think he's like going over the top? Do you think that maybe I'm just too damn peaceful? I'm too free to where I don't care what people are doing in their own lives. Right. Tell me what you think.